Among the many fascinating celestial objects that orbit within our solar system, Pluto stands out as one of the most intriguing and mysterious. Although no longer considered a full-fledged planet, Pluto continues to capture the imagination of scientists, astronomers, and the general public. For decades it held the title of the ninth planet of our solar system, only to be reclassified in the early 21st century. Despite this shift in classification, the dwarf planet has remained a key subject of space exploration, yielding remarkable discoveries through missions such as NASA's New Horizons. By tracing Pluto's discovery, its physical properties, its moons, its unique orbit, and the results of space exploration, we gain a deeper appreciation for this icy world on the edge of the solar system. Pluto was long considered the ninth planet in our solar system. For many years, it was included in textbooks, scientific studies, and planetary models as an integral member of the solar family. However, in 2006, everything changed. Astronomers around the world revised the official definition of what qualifies as a planet. This re-evaluation by the International Astronomical Union, IAU, concluded that Pluto no longer met the criteria for planethood. From that moment, Pluto was placed in the category of dwarf planet, a classification it shares with several other small bodies beyond Neptune. Despite this reclassification, Pluto remains one of the most captivating members of the solar system, sparking debates, emotions, and continuous curiosity. The very name, Pluto, carries with it a connection to ancient mythology. Like many other celestial objects, the dwarf planet was named after a figure from Roman mythology. In Roman lore, Pluto was the god of the underworld, ruling over the realm of the dead. The name's adoption was not an arbitrary choice by astronomers, but was suggested by an 11-year-old English girl named Venetia Burney. Her proposal impressed the scientific community at the time, leading to Pluto being officially named after the ruler of the underworld. Thus, the celestial body that lies in the cold, distant reaches of space was given a name that symbolically links it to a dark and remote dominion. The discovery of Pluto took place on February 18, 1930, though the possibility of its existence had been theorized much earlier. Astronomers had suspected for decades that there was another body orbiting beyond Neptune that could explain certain irregularities in planetary motion. However, it took roughly 25 years of speculation, calculations, and sky surveys before concrete evidence was finally gathered. At the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, astronomers compared numerous photographs of the night sky, painstakingly searching for objects that shifted position over time. Eventually, this method succeeded, and Pluto was identified as a moving body distinct from the background stars. The privilege of naming the planet naturally fell to those who discovered it, but thanks to Venetia Burney's suggestion, the mythological name Pluto became immortalized in astronomy. In terms of physical size, Pluto is quite small compared to other planets. Its equatorial diameter measures about 2,274 kilometers, making it significantly smaller than Earth's moon, which has a diameter of roughly 3,474 kilometers. Despite its small size, Pluto possesses many fascinating characteristics that set it apart. It resides in the Kuiper Belt, a vast and distant region of the solar system beyond Neptune. This area is populated by tens of thousands of icy bodies and minor planets, with estimates suggesting more than 70,000 objects exist there. Pluto is considered the oldest known object in this region, having formed during the early days of the solar system when leftover material coalesced into bodies far from the Sun. The orbit of Pluto is another extraordinary feature. While Earth takes just 365 days to complete its orbit around the Sun, Pluto requires an astounding 248 years to make a single revolution. This means that since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has not even completed one full orbit around the Sun. Its elongated and tilted orbit also distinguishes it from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. A single day on Pluto also unfolds differently than on Earth. Instead of the familiar 24-hour cycle, a day on Pluto lasts about 153 hours, meaning that one full rotation of the dwarf planet takes over six Earth days. Pluto's distance from the Sun profoundly influences its environment. On average, it lies about 6 billion kilometers away from our star. At such an immense distance, sunlight is incredibly weak. If someone were standing on Pluto and looking up at the sky, the Sun would not appear as the bright, well-defined disk we see from Earth. Instead, it would look like a small star among many others. This great distance also keeps Pluto extremely cold. The highest temperatures on its surface do not exceed minus 218 degrees Celsius, making it one of the coldest known places in the solar system. 
These extreme conditions make direct observation of Pluto from Earth nearly impossible without sophisticated technology, yet it remains the brightest known body in the Kuiper Belt. Before modern research shed light on Pluto's true origins, astronomers once speculated that it might have been a moon of Neptune. However, more recent studies and discoveries of similar-sized objects in the Kuiper Belt have shown that Pluto likely formed alongside them, emerging from the debris left after the outer solar system coalesced. Pluto is a rocky and icy body, with much of its mass consisting of water ice mixed with rock. Its surface area covers about 17.6 million square kilometers, comparable in size to the South American continent. For many years, scientists could only theorize about Pluto's surface features, but the arrival of NASA's New Horizons mission revolutionized our understanding. Before we explore the results of that mission, it is worth noting that Pluto itself is not a solitary body. It has at least five known moons. The largest of these is Charon, a massive satellite nearly half the size of Pluto itself. Charon is so large relative to Pluto that the two bodies are sometimes referred to as a double dwarf planet system. In addition to Charon, Pluto is orbited by smaller moons named Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx. The interactions between Pluto and its moons, particularly Charon, create fascinating gravitational dynamics that continue to be studied. The New Horizons mission marked a new era in the exploration of Pluto. Launched on January 19, 2006, the spacecraft embarked on a historic journey across the solar system. At the time of its launch, Pluto was still classified as a planet. Only later in 2006, a few months after the launch, did the reclassification to dwarf planet occur. Regardless of its official status, Pluto remained the central target of New Horizons. After a journey of more than nine years, the spacecraft reached its closest approach to Pluto in July 2015, coming within about 12,500 kilometers of its surface. This flyby provided humanity with its first close-up look at Pluto. The goals of the mission were ambitious and comprehensive. NASA wanted to map Pluto's surface in detail, study its geology, analyze its atmosphere, and capture high-resolution images of both Pluto and Charon. On April 15, 2015, NASA released the first close-up image of Pluto and its largest moon, a moment that thrilled scientists and the public alike. This image was only the beginning. Over the following months, New Horizons sent back a flood of data that transformed Pluto from a faint, blurry speck into a fully realized world with complex features. Among the most iconic images was the photograph showing a vast, heart-shaped feature on Pluto's surface. This region, officially named Tombaugh Regio after Pluto's discoverer Clyde Tombaugh, consists primarily of frozen nitrogen. The glacier is so massive that it has influenced Pluto's rotation, slightly tilting its axis over time. Combined with the gravitational pull from Charon, this heart-shaped region played a role in reshaping Pluto's orientation. Beyond this glacier, New Horizons discovered dozens of others, proving that Pluto is one of the few bodies in the solar system where glaciers exist. Even more astonishing was the possibility of an ocean beneath Pluto's icy crust. Data suggested that below a four-kilometer-thick layer of ice, there might be a vast ocean of liquid water. If confirmed, this discovery would place Pluto among the growing list of worlds that could potentially harbor conditions for life, at least in microbial form. Other surface features revealed by New Horizons included towering mountains up to 3.5 kilometers high, reminiscent of Earth's Rocky Mountains. The planet's surface also displayed canyons, craters, and evidence of past geological activity. One of the most unusual findings concerned Pluto's volcanic history. Unlike Earth, where volcanoes spew molten rock and lava, Pluto's volcanoes likely erupted with frozen water and ice, which would have flowed and then solidified on the surface. This type of cryovolcanism is an exotic phenomenon, showcasing just how diverse planetary activity can be across the solar system. Pluto's moons also provided surprises. Charon, for instance, exhibited geological features shaped by icy volcanic eruptions. Nix and Hydra, smaller satellites, reflected light so strongly that scientists concluded